Woodwork is my hobby. I'm repairing a Georgian house in Tenby. In 2013, the restoration of the porch was the latest element of external joinery that needed attention. The paintwork had built up over 200 years, was cracked, and water was getting behind and couldn't escape. The first job was to draw the porch and try to understand how it was built and why. The first example of an arch within a broken pediment was designed by Michelangelo on the top floor extension of the Palazzo Farnese in Rome. The characteristic was incorporated in an imaginative scheme that took a number of sketch variations to achieve the final design. Later, in this country, and with the help of a number of Palladians, it found its way into William Payne's 1792 design in The Practical House Carpenter, an apprentice's guide to good Georgian detailing in the classical manner. This early tradesperson's textbook was a bestseller, and thousands were built all over this country and abroad, of which ours is just one variation. Tembi has lost many of its porches, either through careless reproduction and modification or lack of maintenance. So this was clearly a great asset and a focal point to a very plain listed facade. Missing mouldings were made as exact copies of those that remained, all using traditional techniques of hand tools, such as this scratch tool made from an old saw blade. It simply scrapes the tiny triple reading of the panels. The question of whether the paint needed to come off was considered. It's often preferable to keep it on as a record of the history of the colour. However, in this case the damage was considerable and you simply cannot repair timber effectively without removing paint. The panels were then cleaned and pulled back together using twine and glue so that they would be free to move in their grooves. The results are pleasing, but there is one missing feature, the fanlight. So we found one from salvage. The Georgians made quite an art of these little devices, finely wrought in tin and moulded with lead. They somehow fill the void very satisfactorily. However, there is a moral question as to whether salvage is at all acceptable. So I suppose we'll give that some more thought before making a move.